Hi everyone, so Dan here, and welcome to Close Your Eyes. No, don't close your eyes, keep it open. No, don't do that, because I tr truly, I want, I... Hey everyone, Seth Dan here, and welcome to Close Your Eyes. This is yet another free horror game I found on Steam. And if I remember correctly, this game has a lot of similarities to a lot of, like, 2-bit horror. Like, I think it was, like, it's, it's like, Mad Father. I know it's, like, the only 2-bit horror game that I remember knowing about. I, I know I know a whole bunch more, but that's, like, the only one that actually comes to my mind right now. Like, Mad Father. It has, like, a lot of similarities to the fact that it's, like, kind of, like, hand-drawn. It's 2D, and very disturbing, so a little bit of warning, this game's a little bit disturbing, and a little bit, like, on the fucked up meter. So, prepare yourself for that. Don't forget, to, don't forget to click the subscribe button for definitely more free horror games on Steam. Without any further ado, let's do this. Oh, fucking bloody. Before you play, the option menu and tile screen lets you adjust the resolution audio. Press F2 to reset the game at any time. Default keyboard controls, arrow keys, blah 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 blah. Enter space and direct. Exit the number and cancel. Definitely control. You can change controls. Blah 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 blah. Got it. It's a horror game. Do not rob yourself of the experience. The game is best enjoyed in a dark environment. So I'm wearing headphones. I'm wearing headphones. Dark environments. Uh uh. No. We're not doing this shit in the dark. It actually, it actually, I think it's like, I think it's like 11 o'clock right now. <laughs> That's why I turn, on my, I turn on my light because like the last video I did, I did completely like lights off, uh, middle of the night. Welcome, and like, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Oh well, hello to you too, Elvis. Boys and girls. Okay, boys and girls. How are you all doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking, Elvis. Thank you for Today, asking. Today, our exciting detective is Death, death Defying. Whoa. Death Row Defying, that is. Wait, so it's like... <laughs> so it's like the inmates of Death Row going up against each other like they do like in Dead Man Wonderland? He's a little... tied up right now. What the fuck? Let's go check on him. Okay, fucked up. It's already getting fucked up. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so... I can gather that we are a prisoner on Death Row, and there is some sort of like... Do you have any last words? I uh, see. We'll be my last words. If I was gonna die, we'll be my last words. Fuck you. That'd be my last words. I'd be like, fuck you. Uh, yeah, those are my last words. Fuck you. Or da da da. Then may God have mercy on your soul. Release the platform. So I guess I'm being hung. Cause you should. Okay, so this is definitely in the past. What in tar What in tarnation? What in tarnation? The damn rope broke. Someone, stop him! He's getting away! But yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, Fall's gonna die, and, like, I, I was able to stop it. I'll be like, yeah, bye! Okay, so what the fuck? Okay, so apparently, I'm this guy. We is going up from the ground. Okay, so apparently, I'm not going near that door, because I don't know if I touch that door, I'm probably gonna die. They're probably sticking out the wall. Okay, so apparently, apparently I'm a guy on death row who I was gonna be hung, but the rope broke, and now I'm on my way escaping. And apparently, whoever that Elvis guy is, is kind of like an entertainer. Like, watch these people get killed for your entertainment. Like, sort of weird, fucked up, de dead man Wonderland shit. Okay, what the fuck is this? Oh, I can save. All right, all right, good save file. Cool. So, okay, is there more weeds, right? Oh, the subway must have been from long abandoned. There are weeds going everywhere. Okay, so apparently, I'm in sort of an underground death row shit. So apparently, like, maybe, like, the prison, like, outsourcing their death row inmates to, like, private sources for money? Poster and I wonder what it's for. I don't know, probably for evil purposes. Pipes? Are these for ventilation? So I really, I actually really enjoy, like, how this, like, I think all, this whole game is hand-drawn. Like, everything is hand-drawn. That's really, like, kind of cool. Hidden hag holds the key. Worker feed, mess it written Hidden hag holds the key. So I'm gonna need to find a hidden hag. And apparently this hidden hag is gonna have to store a key that I'm gonna need to get out of here. Okay. Um, a poster of an eye again! Holy sh poster's supposed to be an eye with straight to So see this is like this is the kind of game I kinda of like actually wanna like start playing. Cause like Mad Father out here was a great game. And I really like actually wanna like see where I can find that. Something caught in the weed. Huh? I read Lib Gasset. If you guys like know like where to find like those some of these like 2D horror games like Mad Father and that, please please leave it leave it in the comment section. Let me know. Cause I actually actually would really would love to enjoy like doing Mad Father for you guys. Particular song. No no what a fucked up song. Huh? 
What was, what was that? Okay, that's fucked up. The door's locked. Go inside the keyhole. The first time to open it. Okay, so apparently that tape is a very fucked up song. The door's locked. Go inside the keyhole. Okay, so I guess I leave to here. Huh? The door is open. Hold on, let me, let me, let me just go back to the light. Be a life switch, but no power being supplied to it. Oh, do I really want to go to that darkness? Okay, you know, how much do I want to bet that I'm getting the key? I don't care. Between a blue label cassette. How much do I bet, like, if I turn the light, it's gonna be like a lot of fucked up shit? Like, it's gonna be like a bunch of dead guys like before. Swap. Yeah, swap it. It's a little better. Oh, so the different tapes unlock different doors. Okay, and the creepy tapes are just creepy as fuck. So, are these props or something? Okay, we're back! So apparently, I think the game just glitched out this item here. Yellow little cassette tape. Okay, so apparently the game just glitched out. Like, <laughs> I don't know why I clicked this door. All of a sudden, the game is like, no! But now we're back. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> can, my, can my laptop say that I handle this game? Stay play record. Talk to Blue cassette with the L. Yeah! So I guess, I guess that door is going to be open then. The, the door on top. Okay, so this is really okay. I'm on this fucked up scale. I'm, this game like, is getting kind of like this game is getting a seven. This game is sat seven on the fucked up scale. Open sesame. Yes. A gen yes, we turn on the generator. Turn on generator. Turn on. Yes, we turn on the generator. That turns on the power for the light in the other room. We go into that room, and then we turn on the light. Right. So all the doors open now, or just all the doors open. He has a light switch. Right, right, this is gonna be fucked up, right? It's gonna be fucked up. Oh, wait, now? Oh. I, I thought like we were turning late and it's gonna be like all fucked up. Get to the rapid dart. Obtain turnstile ticket. Yes! <gasps> yes, we get a ticket. And then we go to a turnstile. And boom, we're out of here. We're out of this bitch. Yes! The fuck? Is that? Is, I can't tell. Is, is that like my. Is that the game or is that something else? I heard like. I heard like sort of like, weird like creepy sh- I have no idea if that was the game or like something actually my phone like my headset I don't know but I really really hope it wasn't the game whatever that shit hey that's not friendly that did not sound friendly what's I saw whoa oh, so no you did not see me you did not see me that must have been somebody else that must have been somebody else you did not see me at all I'm just gonna go and I'm just gonna go over here and turns out to get I'm just gonna go over you know I'm Turnstile gate is now open. You know, I'm just gonna go save and call the part guy before I, I know if I go to that turnstile, shit's about to get real. Shit's gonna like fucking like chase after me and be like, I saw you, bitch! Where you think you going, Danny? You wanna escape death row and take my turnstile ticket? Okay, that's gonna be for this part, guys. When we come back, we'll be going over to the turnstile, we'll be going through the turnstile and I'm sorry. Did anyone else see that? Did, seriously, go, no, go back. Did anyone else see that? I could have swore. I swore there was something right there by the eye. There was something right there by the eye and, like, molded into the wall. I could have swore I saw that. Please tell me I'm not crazy. Please tell me I am not going crazy. I swear I saw that. All right. That's me for this part, guys. We'll come back. We're going through the turnstile. We're going to be finding a way out of here and finding out what the fuck is going on around here. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Leave it in the comment section if you know where to get um, Mad Father or any other of the any other of the 2D horror games. And I'll be seeing you all when we find out what the fuck was that weird thing back there. Besides everyone, have a marvelous, spectacular, horror-free day, everyone. High five for being amazing people. High five. Woo!